G'day, welcome to the Tech Math Channel. What we're going to be having a look at in this video is a really easy way of changing between the two major temperature scales we use, that is Celsius and Fahrenheit. So uh, it's not 100% exact, it has slight uh, differences from the actual answers, but they're fairly good for an on the fly rough calculation. Okay, so the way we are going to do this is first off, we'll look from Celsius to Fahrenheit, then Fahrenheit to Celsius. It's fairly simple. So first off, say we wanted to change from Celsius to Fahrenheit, okay. Um, now, at its most simple, what we do is as follows. What we do is we're going to first off get our temperature in Celsius and multiply it by 2, and then we're going to add 30 to our answer. Okay, and it's as simple as that. In fact, the actual formula when you really do it is you multiply it by 1.8 and add uh, 32 to it. So it's a fairly close approximation to that. You're going to see, and I will mention what the actual amounts are, and you'll see how far they are out as we go. So first off, let's go through a few examples of this. Say I want to change 12 degrees Celsius into what it is in Fahrenheit. So first off, we're going to multiply it by 2. So 12 by 2 is 24, plus 30 is going to be 54. Okay, so 54 degrees Fahrenheit. Hey, pretty easy, right? Okay, so in reality, uh, it's actually about 53.6, so it's not, not too bad, okay? So it's pretty easy, yeah? Okay, hey. Let's uh, have a look at another one of these. Let's go a bit higher now. Let's go up to 100 degrees Celsius, where water boils. Okay, so 100 degrees Celsius, when we change this to our Fahrenheit, so first off, we're going to multiply by 2, so 100 times 2 is 200, plus 30 is 230 degrees Fahrenheit. Not bad. The actual answer is 212, so it's a little bit further out this time. The bigger the numbers, the more margin of error you seem to get with this. Okay, it's not bad for an on-the-fly sort of calculation, though. Okay, so uh, let's have a look at another one of these. See, see if you can work it out. See if you can work it out before I can work it out. Okay, because you know I'm going to speak a bit of gibberish between, uh, <laughs> between writing it in and working it out. So what about 46 degrees Celsius? So gibberish, gibberish, gibberish. Have you worked it out yet? 46 times 2 is 92 degrees. Okay, hey, 92 plus 30 degrees is going to be 122. 122 degrees Fahrenheit. The actual answer, by the way, in reality, uh, if we use the proper formula, it's around about 115. So we're 7 degrees out there. It's not a huge amount. Okay, uh, I mean, if you have to be exact, obviously use the proper formula. So how'd you go with that? Good? Yeah, good. Hopefully, hopefully well. Okay, so what about we're going to now do the opposite. We're going to have a look at changing between Fahrenheit into Celsius. Okay, so instead of what we were doing before, where we were timesing by 2 and adding 30, we're going to do the opposite in the opposite direction. We're going to subtract 30. And then we're going to get this, and we're going to divide our answer by 2. Okay, so you're going to see it's the exact opposite of what we were doing. We're just sort of reversing what we were doing before. So let's have a go at this. Uh, let's start off with 110 degrees Fahrenheit. Nice warm day. <laughs> so anyway, take off 30 degrees. 110 take 30 is 80 degrees. Divided by 2, 40 degrees Celsius. The actual answer, by the way, is about 43 degrees Celsius, so we're not too badly out there. That's a daytime temperature, mate. It's the, the difference between hot and uh, stinking hot, I guess. <laughs> Let's have a look at another one of these. Okay, uh, what about if we were to do, uh, what about 40 degrees Fahrenheit? A bit colder now. 40 degrees, take away 30. Okay, there yeah, we get 10. Divided by 2, about 5 degrees. 5 degrees Celsius. The actual answer, about 4.5 degrees. So, yeah, not too bad, yeah? Okay, again, now see if you can do this faster than I can uh, spout out gibberish, I guess, again, once again. So let's start with 74 degrees, 74 degrees, and I'm going to change this into Celsius. You might have worked this out by now. So let's go 74, take away 30, we have 44 degrees. Divided by 2 is 22 degrees. Hopefully you got the right answer there. Okay, and this is a really, really great little method. I have, um, I live in Australia, so we uh, tend to use Celsius where we are, but I uh, we have an oven and I also have a uh, thermostat in the house, which is in Fahrenheit because it's just the way it is. And so I use this method a fair bit when I'm uh, 
when I'm working these out, oh, look, I could, I could probably work out how to reprogram the thermostat, but we know it's not going to happen, right? <laughs> anyway, hopefully you enjoyed that video. Hopefully that helped you out. Hopefully you uh, really like that method. Anyway, see you next time. Bye.